finish, start. This is what it looks like when you start. It's a little fan motor in the microwaves. Definitely aluminum. Taking the little copper trinkets out. See where they have a little copper in them? I know it ain't a whole lot. I don't think anybody else does that. I do. I'm going to throw this in the shred anyway, so I take a little bit of copper off of it. It is minute, but hey. Without trying, I try not to throw any copper in this red bucket. See? Just a little chunk. Now that's clean shred. Some of you guys can put it in your heavy steel, but mine don't take it as heavy steel. So that's my choice. At least they buy this stuff from me for 10 cents a pound is dirty aluminum. Yours might not. So I think it's like a trade-off, right? Yeah, I'm just gonna take the little piece of steel and the bearing out of there just so it's clean extruded aluminum. Give you a little more of a bird's eye view. Where are we? We are right there. This. Little steel tabs. I pop them out. Push them through. Pop the little bugger out of there. Now it's clean extruded aluminum. It's very simple. Chances of these even being brass are pretty slim. So I just let them drop on the floor. I clean them up when I clean up the, the shop. That is a little piece of tin, the magnet does stick to it. I know it's not a lot of aluminum, but hey, you go this far, you might as well finish it, right? So hopefully they pick my bin up tomorrow. Then I can finish what does it weigh, what does it pay. I'm kind of curious myself. Last time I uh, brought shred in or they picked it up, whatever, it was 90 bucks a ton. Maybe it's a little more this time, I don't know. A couple more days, it's a new year. Maybe it changes, maybe it doesn't. Nice rainy day here, considering for December. There, clean extruded aluminum.
Something I gotta do too, I need bigger buckets for my aluminum because my aluminum hoard's getting too big. enough oh this is it of a smoker's house by the looks of it nobody realizes how much damage smoker actually does I don't mean just to the person smoking everything in your house if you smoke inside everything nothing hides from your cigarette smoke That's why she's so brown. See the difference? Microwaves. Well, this little fan's running on your microwave every time you fire it up, correct? So it's got to bring in cool air to circulate while not drawing the air from outside. All right. I didn't pick my bucket up yet. I figured I might as well do a bunch of these because it's all steel shred and then I throw these in the bucket to be done later. I'll get at them eventually. Clippers. I have no idea why there's copper on the on the side like that. Come on. <laughs> it's gonna fight me. You normally aren't that stubborn. I think this motor's a little messed up. Hey, this one's gonna come out. Are you? you wiggle like you're gonna come out easier. There we go. Goes in the number two bucket. You know the poop bucket. <laughs> yeah. I don't know why that one wouldn't come out. Well, then I'll pull you out the other way. Boom. Had a little hook on it. That's why. Well, we flip it over and attack the other one. Yeah. This one's going to be stubborn too. I'll cut you off right there. Pop you back the other way. Probably too big of a hook left on them when I snip them. Mm -hmm. See? It came out. So now that's clean shred. Mind you, not all of these are aluminum. I always got to check. Some of them might be cast aluminum too. Not all are screwed together. You seen me take the one apart, it was rivet, rivet dipped, dipped. See? One piece of cast, one piece of not cast. Yes, they come apart pretty easy. 
Boom. It's been raining all day here, so might as well work inside, right? I have that option. Not everybody does. I do. Before I used the garage, I worked. I did it all in the basement. That was a little bit of a pain because I dragged everything down there. You picture it: you're dragging a microwave into the basement, and when you have it torn apart, that microwave just filled up four separate buckets. Because you got the microwave shell, you got all the the microwave would sit there by itself. Hang on a sec, I hear something banging around up there. Microwave itself. You know, everything inside and everything goes in its own separate bucket, right? So you got the shell, you got shred, cast aluminum, motors, copper. So you bring in one item and you pull out. Five, roughly, right? <laughs> so yeah, carry it all in. Carry it all in. Whatever I had done, I brought in the garage. So my wife bought herself a new Keurig for Christmas. And uh, I got to tear the old one apart. I never touched those again except cutting the cords off. What a pain in the butt they are. Holy moly. Better off just throw the whole thing in the shred bucket. It probably took me about, I bet you, 30 to 45 minutes just to rip that thing apart. And then there wasn't much in it. A little bit of stainless, a tiny, tiny circuit board, and then the stainless that you did get, you had to, uh, it had a heating element in it, so you had to take that out of it, because otherwise it's not clean stainless. And yeah, I ain't gonna bother again. It's like a toaster. They don't take those apart either. It's not worth it. There's nothing there that I know of. I had someone comment the other day about taking the valve stems off of tires. Well, I imagine there is that on them. But no, I have not done that. I imagine if you look everywhere, I do take them off of a garden hose. Those are a little bit easier. I'm going to clip this off right away, right? Come on. Nice little piece of copper. I'll show you how I do those shortly. They're simple. Some of you smash them up. I don't. Sometimes these are a pain because they... You've connected it right to the steel. Like this one here is really connected. <laughs> it ain't gonna allow me to get it apart. It's like soldered right to it. You don't want the steel. Put the steel in your shred bucket like that one. Or in your copper bucket, they would not be impressed, right? Okay. See now this is being a real pain in the rear end. See if I can get them up this way. You don't always act like this. Sure, and I just trimmed them. 
Okay. I totally lost that one. I got the little piece, but I didn't get the big one. Unless I take all the plates apart. It's the only way I'm going to get that little piece out. Two, I should it be different than the first side, right? We'll get that piece out. And come out this way. He had just a little nub sticking out and it wouldn't allow me to pull him through. Just making sure you're still seeing it. Dirty aluminum. That one looks like it's all steel. No, it's not. It's a different type of aluminum. Got a steel shell in them though. There we go. Here we just pop them open with the vise. We might actually have a brass nugget in them. We'll see. This one's a little more fancy. Alright. There we go. Come on. Come here. I don't know if crying out loud. We'll see if he is brass. Oh, look at that. He actually is. In the brass bucket you go, buddy. Mm -hmm. See now the ones on the floor, if there is any, that I have let fallen. Like these here, I just let them drop. If they're brass, they will... Uh, Will not be picked up with the uh, magnet. So does that mean that one's co copper, brass too? Yep, that was the opposite end of it. So that's what I've been doing on my day today. Parting around in the garage. Just more or less filling in time. Curbside week starts next week. Big bulk week or whatever you want to call it. But uh, <clears throat> yeah, who knows if we go out or not. I'm still working on the load that we got two months ago. <laughs> Tedious, isn't it? I don't think anybody else does this. But me. So what we got? Oh, there's one that didn't get done yet. So you get a little bit of cast. A little bit extruded. These are extruded. This one's cast. These, well, to be honest with you, I don't know. I'm thinking extruded also. 
So one was cast and a couple little standoffs that were also cast aluminum. Yes, these magnets work very well. <clears throat> we get any? Yep, there's a couple in there. See, they look like They look like uh, brass bearings, but they're not. So that mean that's how you find out. So whichever ones stay on the floor for later, you know they're brass. Simple enough, I think. Yeah, this little magnet has about a 25 pound pull, I think it is. So it does pick up pretty good. As long as you don't drop them. See, there's another little one right there. See him? Right on the end of that piece of steel. Yeah, I took some other doodads apart today too. Besides the Keurig which made this lovely puddle. Man, oh man, I didn't think this thing was going to stop leaking. See how far away screws bounce? <laughs> the bench is way over there. But it's when I throw them to the bucket and they don't all go in. They hit the bucket and go for a bounce, right? So... Uh, Quick, yep, yeah, 25 pound capacity. Works good. I got a couple of them for Christmas. They all think it's weird that I request them. Now I'm thinking you're stainless steel or are you copper? Because <clears throat> he didn't stick to the magnet. So we're going to give him a trim. Hmm. Where's the. I'm going to focus on this. It's uh, actually looks like it's brass. So we'll stick them in with the mystery brass stuff. So that's what I've been doing. Holy. Time flies when you have fun. It's already 4 o'clock. I'm ripping these guys apart. I did one of them rotors today. That's what these are from. One of these guys. He's in there somewhere. Oh, there he is. These guys. I know I didn't videotape. Somebody requested a video on that one too. Yeah, but when there's a lot of cursing and swearing going on, you don't want to put that out. See, I got more of them to do yet in there. Of these guys, it's a whole mishmash in there. Everything that's got to be finished. See? Lots of them. Yeah, 
Yeah, when you take about 20 or 30 microwaves apart all at once and you throw everything just in the bucket, right? A couple TV thingies in there. There's another one. Just small stuff. Nah, I don't think that's brass, to be honest with you. That one, maybe that one is, but let's get a little magnet out and find out, right? That's what I thought. You see, that one sticks. See that? They resemble each other quite well, don't they? That part will be brass. That is not. That is not. That's why I said, apartment scrapper, have an eye, man. Someone will fool you. Especially if you're picking these things up in the dark. See? It's not a trick magnet. That's complete brass, that one. This guy is not. Just the elbow is. So that's up to you if you want to strip them right down. You know? Just the elbow. So have an eye. Don't be uh, going all half cocked there, right? And throw them in your brass bucket without realizing you got steel because once you. Uh, lie to the scrapyard yeah it's I don't imagine it'd be a good game so anyways like subscribe and share this is my lovely doom and gloom day it's pretty wet out looks like it's quit for a little bit I can go feed the little animals and uh, upload this video no sunset tonight Have a nice evening.